What's up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod truck for under a thousand dollars. And in this video, we finally get it running and we also steal the shop heater back. Let's get going. real tired of this damn thing not running a lot of you guys know i build hot rods for a living but i only work on this basically in my off time basically at night 99 percent of the time it's at night but today i'm just going to take a day not work in the shop just work on this damn thing and see if i can get this figured out i know i have some sort of an electrical issue it might be a security issue i'm not sure but sometimes it'll crank over but the fuel pump won't kick on sometimes it won't crank over and the fuel pump will it's just all over the place these have a security system in them that can kind of act funky, but I have two PCMs now to switch out. So that should, you know, that should take out half of my problems depending on which one I put in. I don't know, I got a bunch of stuff to try. The problem is it's very boring to watch somebody checking fuses and you know, just shit like that, but I have to get it done. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. I'm just gonna spend all my time trying to get this damn thing running and we'll see what the hell happens. But obviously I'm gonna put this on time lapse because it's gonna be eight hours of me doing electrical bullshit. to the the you know the purchaser say it runs great everybody loves it hundreds of thousands of views on youtube you just need the key and then the other key <laughs> i gotta figure this fucking thing out i don't know we're gonna have to keep looking but this kind of makes me happy at least it runs So, fun fact, I finally bought a good mic, a Bluetooth mic that follows me, so whenever I'm turning around and doing shit, you can actually hear me now. I know that a lot of people complain about it, a lot of people are upset how bad the sound is. I've tried a bunch of different mics. Unfortunately, when you're in a big shop, everything is just kind of echoey and, you know, it's not good, but this one actually clicks right on my shirt, so we should be good now. Hopefully, that makes some people happy. I'm happy to... As the channel grows, I'm happy to start investing, you know, more into the quality of the videos. I'm always going to be funny. I'm always going to be working on shit. That's just who I am. But uh, I do kind of, I would like to see the videos get better, nicer quality, you know, better sound, etc. So this is a step in that direction. I hope that makes some people happy. But that's all bullshit. Let's get back to work. I am having issues with this, obviously being consistent with it running. I hot wired it the other day and it actually kind of worked okay, but then I couldn't, I couldn't recreate it. I did everything I did and then did it again and it didn't work. So even when I hot wire it, it only works one out of every 20 times, you know? So 
I can't even count on that because originally I was thinking if I can kind of hotwire the fuel pump and get it to run in, I'll just run a toggle switch for the fuel pump, click it on and go. You know, sometimes that doesn't even work. So I got online, I was looking some stuff up and a guy said whenever he built his, all of his problems had to do with his headlight switch for some odd reason. When he plugged his headlight switch in, everything kicked on and worked okay. Well, ironically, around the time this quit working, I think is when I did my headlights. Now, I know it was running and having no issues. Just randomly one day I threw a chair in it and I wanted to take it for a drive and it wouldn't start. But I think around that week, I did do the headlights and taillights. So I'm wondering if I, maybe something is sharing a ground that shouldn't be sharing a ground. Maybe I have too many things on one ground and it's not, you know, it's not a heavy gauge enough wire to, to be grounded well enough. I don't know, something like that. But what I'm gonna do since I got that information is I'm gonna go through the taillights and the headlights and see exactly how they're grounded. See if maybe I'm missing something. See if I need to maybe add a ground or if I need to just cut the headlights off completely and see if that fixes my problem. You know, I, I don't care. If I need to rewire them, I will. I wouldn't think in any of this would matter for your engine running, but these security systems are so, you know, finicky. And this security system in particular on these Lincolns goes all off of a grounding system. Everything goes to be grounded. Whereas a lot of times the security systems work off your power side. I guess these ones go off the ground side. So if there's any issues with grounds, it just kind of shuts itself off. So basically I said all that to say, let's spend another couple hours chasing wires today and piss off my customers because I'm not working on their cars like I should be. One long angry line later. So this thing is really pissing me off. Uh, I've wasted entirely too much time on it. Uh, I'm getting very frustrated. So I've decided to take out my frustration. We need to go steal the heater back. So let's go up to my dad's house. We're gonna steal the heater back. I'm gonna get it to the shop. And hopefully either this episode or next episode, I'm gonna destroy the fucking thing. First thing we gotta do is go steal it though. So let's go do that. So. He needs help bleeding his brakes today on his uh, 56 Chevy truck. It's actually just kind of like mine. I'm gonna tell him I got some parts in for the heater, so I need to take it back to the shop with me. Now, he took it away from me because he, he read in the comments that I was going to destroy it with a hammer. So if he asks about that, I'm gonna tell him, oh, I was just being funny for comments. That's that's not, the, I was just being silly for comments. I need the heater back, it's cold. It's cold today, it's like 30, so we'll see how it works out. Damn. Hey, uh, I got some parts for that heater, uh, the one you took. Uh, I think I can get it running. Can we take it back down to the shop? Yeah, I guess. Cool. Why did you take it up here anyway? You just needed to use it? Oh, you said something about smashing it. Oh, I just, I was just being silly for the videos. I wasn't actually going to do anything. <laughs> I ain't got no parts for this fucking thing. I'm going to spend about 15 minutes on it. There's a couple things I read online that you can adjust. I'm going to spend about 15 minutes on it, and if it doesn't work, I'm fucking bashing this thing in with a goddamn hammer. Especially after I spent two days on my truck and it not running, so... It should be fine. Oh, yeah. I'ma fuck you up. Oh, yeah. It's back, and I just want to kill it, but I'm not going to kill it yet. We're going to try and fix it, and if it doesn't fix it, we're bashing the fucking thing with my five-pound sledge. But for now, we're going to get back to work. This annoying piece of shit that I want to hit with the sledge, I actually just got a tip online. Somebody said on Facebook you can jump. Basically, you can hotwire the PCM versus just... Earlier, I was just hotwiring the fuel pump. 
That doesn't always work. It still doesn't like that. Basically, you're just forcing gas in it, but the PCM still doesn't know what's going on, so it's not happy with that. And that only works one out of every 20 times. Technically, if I'm jumping the PCM, that should bypass anything else. So it should just think everything is normal. And whatever wire I have messed up and missing, it should just bypass all that, and I should just have hot to my PCM that should wanna work. In theory, it should work, Eh, but it might not. I don't know. Either way, I got something else to test out, so that's what we're going to do right now. So, I need something to hotwire the PCM relay so it stays closed. Something kicked on when I did that. I don't know if the mic is picking that up, but there's all kinds of noises being made. Ooh. Ooh. But I don't hear my fuel pump, so maybe this isn't working. Is my fuel pump running? I can't tell. All right, let's see what happens. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I got no PCM failure either. The code, the blinking code, I, I don't have that either. Here's the thing, though. I did that. We did that earlier in the video with the fuel pump. When I did it again, nothing would work. So let's try and experiment and see if this will work when I do that. So let's unplug everything as if it was sitting. Plug it all back in hot wire this bitch one more time let's see first off what happens if i just try it without well everything work? no definitely won't work well i definitely need a better way to hot wire it yeah see i don't think it's repeatable i don't think it's repeatable son of a bitch oh well hold on i might not have had that connected man i just i it's hard to jam something in there Ooh, that might work really well. Okay, so what we have to do now is we have to figure out how, instead of me trying to jam a screw in that, what can I do to recreate that? Can I just run a toggle switch? Because if it'll recreate it every single time, I'm happy with that. There's also a couple things I need to do whenever I have that running. I need to make sure it'll go in gear. Some of these sensors... Yes, they'll let it run, but as soon as it's out of park, it shuts everything down. So there's a couple other things we need to test, but I'm gonna see if I can't figure out how to maybe wire that to a toggle switch, and then we'll see if we can't throw it in gear and see what the fuck happens. But I am happy right now, because that seems like it's repeatable. Okay, I got all the wiring taped up cut i deleted a bunch of it which is cool because a bunch of it was just spare shit i didn't need so i got everything you know tightly wired this still needs done but that'll get covered up i'm a little toggle switch let's see what happens what oh i got it off i'm an idiot actually control this now on and off let's go ahead and throw it in gear and see what happens i haven't got to drive it yet while it was a truck so pretty excited it's rainy as shit which sucks but i'm not going far i actually have real shitty outside i actually have the wrong battery in it so the battery's like in there crooked because that battery is actually too big to go over there so i'm not i'm not going to do anything crazy right now just kind of want to go down and back and see what's up. I also, probably on like episode five, I mean, two months ago, I cut one of these brake lines back here. I just ran a ran a sawzall right through it on accident. So that still needs fixed. So I probably don't have a ton of brakes, but let's see what happens, baby.
lot of damage! Oh shit, I hit a big bump. And it died. Oh no. Oh, pain. So, uh, that was literally like the happiest I've been, followed by the saddest I've been in the shortest amount of time in my life. I mean, happy, laughing, ecstatic. It's been months I've been dealing with this bullshit. To, oh no, I broke it again in like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. What happened was I hit one of these big ass potholes and since, I think anyways, and since my uh, like my power distribution block and like fuse and all those, they're just kind of hanging right now. Like I got them zip tied to the fender, but they're not solid. They have to be solid. And when I hit that bump, I blew a fuse in uh, my fuel pump, which is a pretty important one. Um, either that or I got, a, I got a ground maybe that's jumping around, even though I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's underneath the bottom, I don't know. Uh, whenever I do that brake line in the back, I'll, I'll jack it up and double check. But just switched out the fuse. It should be good now, I haven't double checked, but I mean, it has to be, it has to be, that's the problem. Super happy. It, it obviously still needs work. I'm fucking stoked. I thought this was gonna be the most boring video I've ever done because I thought it was gonna be 10 hours of me chasing wires. <laughs> and it looks like that's what it was gonna be, you know, for the most part. But luckily we made some progress and uh, I'm so happy that this thing is running. This is awesome. Uh, next video, we'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix some stuff. I'm gonna get my seats mounted. And uh, next video, we'll do some burnouts. We'll have some fun. And we might be ending this motherfucker's life in the next video fucking bitch so stay tuned for that thank you guys very much for watching i am so excited to finally have this running and driving uh it's been a real pain in my ass for a couple months especially with the truck getting close to being finished and it's looking great everybody's loving it everybody is excited you know because it's, it's starting to look like an actual truck it's starting to look done it doesn't have big cut marks in it from the chop and from the the cow being widened and all that stuff so all that was kind of weighing on me why I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was very frustrating, but luckily we got it figured out. Um, and it's not just uh, it's not just hot wiring something, you know, this is actually repeatable. Get in, start the key, go, which is, which is awesome. Cause uh, I tried a couple things that were kind of working, but they wouldn't work. So I'm very happy about this. It still has some issues, but at least now I know what is wrong with it. And I know what I need to do to fix it. Um, so th that is great. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be mounting the seats. Our new rims should be in, which will be nice because these stick out a little too far. My new front rims will be sunk in just a bit, which will be great. So hopefully we can do some burnouts and maybe we'll destroy the shop here. Let's see. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Must have heard around How that sound, yeah that sound good Tell them 